Oh my gosh, I found the egg! Are you there? Yep, Are you there? yep, yep. yep. Oh, she, yeah, she knows. Woo! Hey y'all, it's me Savannah and it's time for the next vlog and this vlog is gonna be so much fun because it's gonna take us all the way to Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica with my great friend Joe Wazalewski and we are gonna go save American crocodiles in Jamaica. We're working with the National Environmental Protection Agency as well as the Endangered Species Task Force to go save crocodiles in Jamaica, put them in a sanctuary until they get big enough that they can be released back into Jamaica. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna love it. So let's don't even hesitate. Let's get going. What are you doing, Savannah? We, what are you doing, Treya? Treya is Put doing some amazing down. yoga poses, and I'm catching <laughs> little oh. crocodiles Hold on, that we're gonna take down. to the sanctuary. What sanctuary? Oh. Lawrence. 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 Where? Where's the sanctuary? Holland. Holland. Eastern St. Thomas. All right. <laughs> and what about you, sir? Well, I'm saying goodbye to these crocodiles right now. Yep. So these were transferred from Jamaica's from Safari to Hope Zoo to be temporarily housed and now they're going to Lawrence. Right Lawrence? Uh -huh. You're going to be in this video a lot but you don't have to be right now. <laughs> so look at this amazing crocodile. He is so beautiful. American crocodile right here in Jamaica. And this is only the first stop. This adventure is going to go on for more than seven days. Right Joe? Right. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. More crocodiles. Why do you want to see the crocodiles? I've never seen one in my life before. And you come from here? Yeah. You've never seen one at Never seen one before. You never seen one that lives over the bridge here? No. I just heard of it. Okay, so T-Bone, we're going to put a chip in you. So we know who you are. Oh. He's leaving now. So they went, Byron goes back and said they want me to take it. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Byron doesn't really want me to so keep him. Shh. So we're gonna show you a little bit about how we chip these animals. Joe's actually gonna do it and I'm gonna hold on to her. And she's a really, really feisty little crocodile. All right, uh, 062 890 584. And her name is T-Bone. And it goes about five or six rows back. Okay. Here, let me, yeah, let me do that. Just like this. Woo! Yeah. Okay, now, let's see, no blood, nope. nope. Let's double check. What's the number? 816? Yep, wait, 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 wait. There, there we go, 062. Oh. 890. 062 890. 584. 584, got it. Cool. Welcome to the sanctuary, T-Bone. Okay. okay, what we just did there, mm -hmm. this is the microchip. Okay. And that what went in its tail, and what uh, it does is it gives this animal a number yeah. the rest mm -hmm. of its life. Okay. And, and you don't need any power with this. This mm -hmm. is uh, what they call when you go to the grocery a store mm -hmm. and you scan your groceries. Mm -hmm. that, that's a barcode. Is all mm -hmm. it is. Okay. The power is in here. Can you guys see it? So, okay. Mm -hmm. So. All of the ones I have are microchipped. Well, All the ones that everybody should have should be microchipped. Okay, I Let think go. we're going to have to do us old people. <laughs> You know, don't laugh. I think they're going to be doing people. Yeah, we're all going to be chipped so eventually. When, when they stray, they... Yeah. Matter of fact, I have a friend in Florida, and he keeps 
going away and they have put something on him and they can track him. Like an ankle bracelet? Probably, but with, you know, a tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. We are going to find American Crocodile Nest. We're going to go to one of the places where the most nests are here in Jamaica to see how many American Crocodile Nests we're gonna have and maybe we can get a number of how many are gonna hatch out this year and I'm super excited. I've never been here before and I think it's gonna be awesome. Sometimes when you're looking for crocodiles in Jamaica, you have to go in all kinds of crazy places. And sometimes you don't even find the crocodile. Check out what I found in this big, huge drain pipe while I was looking for American crocodiles at night. I'm going, I'm going in. Totally the spot. She looks rough though. Look at her teeth. Yeah, she's uh, living in sh <laughs> shit water, what do you expect? You know, this takes a lot of balls for you, young lady. With four adults that could kill you, and you're here to chase us away. Good for her. Yeah. No, love her. Oh, are you filming? I mean, it's a good lesson. Like, crocodile moms are the best moms in the world. They're, she's gonna fight all of us. I think you were on it, Lawrence. I think she did it on the hill. No. So we came here to this beautiful, beautiful beach to a crocodile habitat where there's usually about six to 10 nests. We found one nest. And a big part of the reason for that one nest is because of this. And I know everyone watching this video thinks we'll stop and clean it up, but it goes on for miles and miles and miles. But it's destroying the crocodile habitats. And all of this trash is not from Jamaica. I found trash from just the USA. I found trash from Dominican Republic. I found trash from Haiti. Some of the trash is from Jamaica, but most of it's not. And it goes on and on for miles. So let's say these little crocodiles do hatch out. What are they supposed to do? The fish aren't gonna stay here because of all the pollution. They're not gonna have anything to eat. And it just cycles over and over again. And I'm not trying to be preachy because I don't have a solution. But maybe you do. Every one of us can make a difference. Post in the comments below and let me know what you think could help. We found a nest, uh, an active crocodile nest. In fact, the mother was guarding it last night uh, in an area not unlike this. In fact, about a mile and a half right down the beach here. And if that nest were to hatch out successfully, the babies would have a very difficult time surviving. There's hardly any food and this habitat destruction is horrible. So it's best that we move the nest, move the eggs, hatch them out, head start them till they're a little bit older, and then release them into better habitat. All this trash here is not really from Jamaica, believe it or not. Uh, we've been try looking and collecting at different pieces. It's from Haiti to DR. It's from places in Ohio. So the current is taking trash worldwide to this beach. It's not just Jamaican. Okay guys, so I'm here with my friend Joe. Joe, get over here. Here I am. And we are here in Jamaica. Lawrence? Get in here, come Lawrence. Come on, Lawrence. <laughs> and Lawrence is the crocodile guy here in Jamaica. So tell us what we're gonna do right now, Lawrence. Right now, we're going to extract, hopefully extract a nest which a female has laid. She's under the mangroves at the moment watching us. The nest is laid somewhere up on the banking just behind us over to the left. Uh, unfortunately, the water that runs through here where the hatchlings would hatch out into and be put by the mother into this water coincides with the, the cane crop. And this is the wastewater runoff from the cane factory. The water is highly toxic to the young animals 
and the chances are that these animals will not survive. We're so, going to get the nest out of there, yeah. and I'm going to find it. Right. No, I'm going to find it. Okay. Good. No, how I'm going to find wait, it. Wait, Lawrence, how many eggs do you think are in the nest? 20. 31. 27. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I found the egg! Are you there? Yep. Are you there? Yep. 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 Chip, Dad, she knows. Woo! She knows. She knows. Right. Okay. Man. All right, just stop right there. Okay. You can smell it. Okay. Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. Let's oh, tell you, yeah. Okay. Just kind of clear it out. I wouldn't touch any, just clear it out. Okay. Uh, well, move there's move still all the sand away. Can I like it? Well oh, done, that's right. You are good. Good shot there. You got the egg? What'd you say, Joe? Good. Well done, Fine. Savannah. <laughs> Good spot All right, there. so there are the eggs. There are the eggs, and we are going to save all these baby crocodiles. You know what? Guess how many eggs are in this nest. You can post it in the comments below. I can't even see but one right now, but we are super excited. So post in the comments below how many eggs you think this wild American crocodile right here in Jamaica laid in this nest. So all these eggs are going to a sanctuary, and all of these crocodiles will be hatched out and they will all be released back into Jamaica. After their head started. When they're about a year old, then, then, then it's safe to release them. Right now, they're too vulnerable. When they hatch, I should say. When they first hatch, we have to raise them up for about a year and then we can release them. Here we go again. <laughs> so Lawrence is filling up the box with the same substrate that the mom laid the eggs in so that we can keep them. And I know if you guys have watched a lot of our YouTube videos, you've seen some of the banding and these already have bands on them. I'll show you one right now. Okay. So we had an amazing week in Jamaica, didn't we Joe? We sure did. Wow, from from <laughs> pulling eggs from a nest, beautiful eggs, to to catching 30 babies uh -huh. at the zoo and moving them to Florence's, and you could keep going. And the sanctuary we got to see were some of the first people that were here. It is absolutely an amazing sanctuary, completely solar powered. All the water comes from rainwater and is filtered, completely self-sufficient. It's just an amazing, amazing place. Remember to go and follow the Instagram for Save Crocs JA. That's for Save Crocs Jamaica. You can also follow Wildlife Jamaica. We even had a fancy meeting with the National Environmental Protection Agency. The Endangered Species Task Force. Yeah, that's crazy. Whoever thought that a girl like me could be at such a fancy meeting. We have lots and lots of work to do, and I hope you guys comment below and let us know what you think could help here in Jamaica with the American crocodiles. I showed you guys some of the beach, I showed you guys some of the habitat area, and a little bit of it was sad, but Jamaica is doing everything they can to help protect this amazing endangered species, and we want you to be a part of it too. Just by watching this video, know this, you're helping. 100% of the proceeds from this youth, that crocodile's gonna bite me. <laughs> 100% of the proceeds from this YouTube channel go to Gatorland Global Conservation. And, uh, and so thank you so much for watching. And uh, we really, really do appreciate your interest in this amazing animal and all the other animals that Gatorland has and all wildlife in general because we love all of it. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I hope you like this vlog and I hope you learned a little something along the way. These crocodile eggs are staying in Jamaica, so don't make the mistake and think that they're going back we to Gatorland. We would like for all wildlife to thrive exactly where it's supposed to be, and these crocodiles come from Jamaica, and they will stay in Jamaica and live out their best life. Make sure you post in the comments below and tell us how many eggs you think were in this clutch from this wild American crocodile here in Jamaica. Keep in mind, every single one of these eggs is going to a sanctuary where they will be cared for by Lawrence and his team of amazing crocodile specialists here in Jamaica. And they don't just protect crocodiles, they protect all the wildlife here in Jamaica. Jamaica is a beautiful place and we have been really welcomed here. Do me a favor, check, check, check that like button, smash that notification bell, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too. I love you guys so much. It was great to see you from Jamaica, and I will see you again in the next vlog. Bye!